The Art of Deception. On a street in Dalston, East London, something very odd seems to be happening. It's confusing me very, very much. Dalston House might look like a typical, if rather grand, Victorian property. It is an illusion. Who at some point hasn't fantasised about becoming Spider-Man? No, maybe it's just me. But the thing is, with this piece of art, the imagination of the viewer or participant is as important as that of the artist himself. And he's up here. Hi, Leandro. Can you give us a hand? Thanks. Oh, goodness me. So, where did you get the idea for this from? I'm always interested in, in finding uh, ways to question um, our ordinary world. It's a 45 degree angle, that's what produces the, the reflection. If it's slightly wrong, the illusion doesn't well, work. Well, if the angle is slightly wrong, then the building will look slightly uh, off. Strange, you sort of feel not entirely at ease. I didn't realise that that was a mirror. I thought that this was actually stood up. You're a proper roofer. What do you think of the uh, the craftsmanship of this? Yeah, thing? it's pretty good. It's pretty realistic, doesn't it? Do you think it's going to be popular, this thing? Yes. Why is that? Because it's quite fun. Argentinian artist Leandro Ehrlich's 3D illusions have earned him global acclaim. His 2008 work, Swimming Pool, appeared to show participants submerged in water, but they remained completely dry. You've done a number of pieces which deceive the, the viewer. Why do you like doing them? Um, I like the idea of questioning reality. I will hope that people uh, go back to their daily life thinking that things are not always the way they seem. It's just so real. <laughs> Unbelievable, really. Makes you think, challenges you, adds spice to life. You nearly fell off the building then. <laughs> For some, art is all a facade. At Dalston House, the facade is all art. Tim Muffet, BBC News. <laughs>